What's up guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I've got another what's sold video for you guys and I'm going to gather everything up and show you guys exactly what I sold this weekend. It was another quality weekend. Not my best, but just a solid weekend of bread and butter. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I will show you my profit on everything after taking out all of our costs. So let's get into it. All right, starting out on Amazon, this is upstairs in the garage, so I'm not gonna bring it down here. I'm gonna do it up there. But $260, I got this in that Amazon returns palette. It was brand new. Um, if you remember that, that was like a month ago. And it sold it for 260, so that should be really good money there. Update on that palette for all those of you that watched it and are just wondering. We've uh, about doubled our money so far and we still have probably about a third of the items. So it was a really good palette, lots of big stuff, great stuff for Facebook Marketplace. That I listed on Facebook Marketplace and Amazon and, and it ended up selling there for 260, which is more than we would have gotten on Marketplace. So it was a pain in the butt because of all the big stuff and there was a lot of broken stuff in there as well, but it, it ended up being a very good palette. And uh, if you remember, I split that with my dad and my sister. So we all doubled our money so far and we still have some more stuff to move. Here's everything else we sold another solid weekend. Let's start with the smaller stuff. So I opened this in a Topps Chrome box, a Buster Posey refractor, sold it for 12 bucks. Sold all these wristbands between three and $5 a piece and I have 30 cents in each one of those. Then, you know, it was a solid fly weekend. Relisted a couple of those, so they started to take off again. 18 to 20 bucks a piece, paid about $3 to $4 a unit. You got this Jim Brown shirt. I paid $10 from this from Ross and flipped it for 28. I got this South Korea shirt. I paid $16.99 if I remember correctly. Yep, Burlington, $16.99. Flipped it for $33. So these type of things aren't big flips, but they're eight to $10 profit. And those add up when you have a ton of those. So I go for the crumbs. I mean, I'm gonna find the bigger boys like that too, but there's money to be made on the crumbs as well. Uh, this we had a penny in and I sold it for 11 bucks. This Tennessee Titans shirt was $10.99 on clearance at Burlington, and I ended up flipping it for $33. This Umbro jersey was $8, and I flipped it for $33, so solid uh, shirt flips there. Sold these two on Amazon. This guy for $14, paid $0.50 cents for that from BitFTA, paid a dollar from this from BitFTA, and sold it for $25 on Amazon. Got cases of these left, and I've already more than paid for them. Cleat season is in full effect, as you probably uh, saw me pick these up in Chicago. 20 bucks, flipped them for 65. Got these for 20 bucks, 53. 20 bucks, flipped them for 53. Got these at Sierra Trading Post. Don't sleep on them. I'm going to do a video on them in the future. Um, these were on sale for $17. Uh, they're tennis shoes, and I flipped them for 60 bucks. Got these at Marshall's for 15 bucks, flipped them for 35, so not bad. I uh, got this from CBS Walgreens when they were having their 99% clearance event last summer, and I sold it for 20 bucks. Someone bought three hats here. They bought this one, this one, and this one. Uh, I got this from Kohl's online, actually. It wasn't 32, it was like 10 bucks on clearance. Um, this was 10 bucks at TJ Maxx, and this was a dollar at Marshall's, and they bought all those for $65. Got this also in Chicago. I actually forgot to film it. I paid four bucks at Goodwill. Just a solid little flip to 17. Nothing big, but nice little five, six dollar profit there. Got these for free, uh, you know, from my Kohl's cash video, and uh, flipped them for $35. Got this from Party City. You watched me get that. It was like 60 cents after all the discounts. Sold it for $15. Got this from GameStop. I think it was like 25 bucks and I flipped it for like 45 bucks. Nothing big. Um, a lot of these Funko Pops, it's a weird, weird market, but if you can find the right ones that will take off, it's a good game to get into. I'm just still trying to learn it. But we talk a lot about these in my upcoming bread and butter cook group that is dropping soon. So stay tuned. 
four pairs of earplugs you know where i got those from that 50 dollar palette that was ridiculous i actually just listed these the other day um, i'm getting behind on my listings so i need to catch up and list all that stuff well these more than paid for that whole palette because i sold each of these for 22 dollars a box got this from a lids palette a couple years ago a mug palette it was like 30 cents a unit and i'm selling the mugs for 16 dollars a piece sea world shirt Paid like 50 cents to a dollar from BitFTA and sold it for $12. Boston College hoodie. You watched me pick these up in that hoodie palette that I got. And it was $2 a unit, I believe. And sold selling them for $20 a piece. Time to get into some hats. So all of these in this area were from hat palettes. Anywhere from $2 to $5 a hat. Um, and I sold this Kentucky one for $20. I sold these two... Um, Virginia National Champions hats for $17.99 each. Bears hat for $20. 49ers hat for $18. Patriots hat for $20. The Utter Tuggers, M-I-L-B. Uh, pretty cool hat there. 40 bucks for that guy. Um, I can't, this is uh, some Seattle minor league team. Got 25 or 30 bucks for that. Uh, got 25 for this Dodgers hat. And this Germany hat right here. I sold for 25 as well and then i got this hat from fanatics online clearance event for three dollars sold for 17 so nothing big but solid little profit got this from tj maxx for 7.99 sold it for like 20 22 bucks i believe ohio state nike visor i got this atlanta braves mexico co-branded hat oh, i got that in a palette as well for like two bucks and i sold it for 25 dollars got this from marshall's for three dollars and sold it for 17 bucks. Got this from Marshalls for $4, Grand Valley State, and sold it for 25. And picked this up the other day, six bucks, Columbus Crew Hat, sold it for $26, easy money. And lastly, we sold this float. Um, I got this at that CBS Walgreens uh, clearance event. It was probably a dollar tops, and I sold it for 30. Just gonna throw it in a poly bag, it'll be really nice. So now I'm gonna get into packaging up. I'm gonna take a couple hours and then I will dive into the numbers for you guys. All right, guys, that will do it. Another huge, huge weekend. So let's get into the numbers here. Again, truly, truly blessed to be able to do this as a full-time job. I cannot stress that enough. Here we go. eBay, 49 items for $1,307. Amazon, three items for $299. Facebook Marketplace, 14 items for $271. Mercari, seven items for $124 for a total of 73 items for $2,001. We got to take out our fees, which was $261. Our shipping, which is pretty low. Um, even the big item I had was going to Michigan. It only cost like 30 bucks for that washer. So we got to take out $430 for shipping and a low cost of goods sold as well today. A lot of pallet stuff, a lot of bread and butter, smaller items from Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Burlington. So we take out $302 in our cost of goods sold for a net profit of $1,008. Now, like we always do, we're going to multiply that by 52 to see what we would do just on the weekends in net profit if we did that every single weekend. And this is one of my smaller weekends I've had recently. $52,000 a year, ain't nothing wrong with that. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Shop in the areas of the store that you know. Do not try to copy me if you don't know that. I say this in every single one of these videos because I get a lot of people asking me questions on different things. If you're not knowledgeable in that area, don't waste your time. Even if there is profit there, because there is, there's profit in every single department. I guarantee I leave profit in all different kinds of departments, but I go in, I get in, I get out, I hit my sections, I know what I'm hitting. So go to areas that you know. If you know men's clothing, hit the men's clothing, the men's shoes. If you know women's stuff, hit that stuff. If you know designer bags, go go for that. That's the perfect place to start in areas that you know. And then you can begin to learn new areas. I didn't know anything about any types of shoes or cleats, so I decided to learn about those. They were near the areas that I was shopping at. But you need to start out in the areas that you know that's the best place. Get your bread and butter, and then you can branch out and start finding more things. Speaking of bread and butter, our cook group is launching soon in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. We are super excited to bring this to you guys. We are just building it the right way, nice, slow, and steady. 
and this is going to be a game changer in the reselling game so stay tuned for that if you're not already following me on instagram you can do so at millennial underscore profit there's money to be made everywhere guys let's go get it thank you for watching the millennial profit